Hello, this is Ted Phillips, Application Engineer for Advantech BNB SmartWorks. And today I want to talk a little bit about dashboards and specifically Node-RED dashboards. We've had a number of customers that wanted to use our Wizard products or WISE products along with our BNB gateways, which include Node-RED, to generate some simple dashboards. The one on the screen is one that we did with a particular customer that has a uh, equipment building. We're monitoring temperature and humidity within the building, as well as uh, the power going into the air conditioner and the power going into the UPS. This dashboard has a live video screen also. So, want to talk about how we go about building these dashboards, and, and we'll start with a very simple dashboard. Once you load Node Red, you end up with a work area in the center and a uh, row of, of other little boxes along the left side. Each one of those little boxes is a resource that you can have whenever you're building an application in Node-RED. And then on the right, we have a debug window that shows uh, information that's coming back in from our debug nodes, which are these green nodes. So first, what we, uh, what we need to do to build a uh, Dashboard is we need to find where we're getting our data from. And since all of our wizard products are, are MQTT, we drag an MQTT box onto the screen and then we configure it to connect to the MQTT broker, which can be in the gateway or it can be an external broker. And then the topic, the topic that we're using right here is BB slash plus slash data, which means it's a product that's built by BNB. The plus means any one of the nodes that's reporting and slash data is the um, the data stream that we're looking for. This plus will actually be separated out later. The next thing we want to do is we want to convert that data stream in JSON because it comes in as a, uh, a string data from the MQTT node. So this doesn't have any configuration at all. You just drop the JSON node on there. And then the output of that is a JSON object that contains all of the different data that's coming in from that particular node. In this case, we've got battery voltage, we've got the internal temperature, we have the temperature that's inside the freezer, we have the humidity, the digital input, analog inputs, and then the timestamp. So now we have all the data coming into the, into the program. What we wanna do is select a particular node. So in order to do that, we're going to use a, um, a switch node, which is available on the left-hand side. Right here is the switch node. So we drag that onto the screen and we set up the switch node so that the message topic, which is what the node transmits before it transmits the data, the message topic contains the serial number of the particular node that we're looking for. So we can make it equals greater than, less than, but since we're looking for a string, we want it to be equal to that particular serial number. If we have multiple nodes, we can always add a second node and we can put contains, and then we can put another serial number in there. Just like that, and then save that and deploy it. And now this select node has two outputs, one with the first serial number and one with the second serial number. So now that we've selected the node that we're getting our data from, now we want to do is separate out the different values that we're looking at. So we can open up the split node and the split node has multiple outputs. Output number one is the internal temperature of the node. Output two, we're going to make the humidity. Output three is the, the, the temperature, temperature one. And these are all based on the, the data that's coming in from the node on the left side. And we can add whatever other things we want. If we wanted to add AI2, we could do payload.ai2. In node red, everything that's passed from one node to the other node is called the payload. So whenever we're sending a JSON object, it's called the payload. And then we do the payload dot, whatever the subtitle is, like digital input one or analog input two or whatever. And we can add that and click done. And then again, we would have that input. 
So this gets all the data into the uh, node red flow. Now we're going to separate it out and generate some gauges. And um, to do that, we can use a, a gauge node. We can use a text box. We can do a chart. We can make these um, look pretty much any way we want. So the first one I did, which is the, um, the regular ambient temperature, we did a temperature gauge. We called it temperature outside. This is a gauge. Um, the value format is, is just the value itself. This number two tells us we want two decimal places. What we want to label under the gauge, the range of the gauge, and then we give it a name. So once we deploy all these gauges, then it's gonna end up looking just like this. This is the temperature gauge. It has the title, it has the temperature with two decimal places. And here we have the humidity, which is set up exactly the same. And here's the freezer temperature, which we've got set up the same. And then I've also added a chart under there. So if we look on the, on the screen, we can see the chart and we can see the temperature. And, and here it's low. Here it's gone up a little bit. Um, up here, somebody probably opened the door to the freezer to get something out. So this is the dashboard that we've generated right here. And within Node Red, we can change anything we want. If we wanted to change the size of a particular gauge, rather than having that big gauge, we can make it smaller. Click Done, click Deploy. And now when we go back here, the gauge is going to be smaller. So this is a kind of a simple example of how to build a dashboard from Node Red. And, uh, the steps that we need to do is essentially gathering the data from the MQTT broker, converting it to JSON, selecting which node we're looking for, selecting out the data that we're, we're uh, interested in from each one of those nodes, and then how to get it onto the dashboard.